Welcome to another 2dgamerguru.com tutorial. This time I'll be covering layer effects in Affinity Designer to recolor images, make variations by simply using different color overlays. So the simple way to do that is starting out with a gray beard which we have here, just a few shapes with a gradient. Let me just click on one. It's a simple gradient from darker to lighter to give it some depth plus the moustache on top. And in order to show what the effect is doing, I split it into halves. So let's take all the effects off. We have the original on the left and the changed version on the right. So now let's say I want a colored version. Here is the brown overlay. Let's go into this one. It's the same shapes and all we have is the layer effect. Now this one I used linear light. You might want to try around with it. One of the safest ones is to go with multiply and then choose your colors so we can go with a blue all the way to red, the greens, pretty much all the colors work. If your base is pure grayscale, there's less interference with other colors. So try and keep it just black, white and gray without any added colors to it. So let's close that. Oh, no, brown is gone. Okay, so that's the multiply. Now we can go in and say, okay, I want slightly warmer colors. So I have the same thing again, and this time the effect works with the linear light again, which gives a slightly warmer feel to the colors. So if I go with the red, it just keeps the whole saturation a little higher than the multiply. You might want to try other effects. Color usually fades more. Um, the glow works if you want to have really bright colors. Um, so let's undo that one. For example, bright red works great. It looks a little bland, so what I did with this one, I added a second copy of it on top with the gradient mask. If I take the mask off for a second, you'll see that with the mask off, everything will turn into orange. I put the mask on and we have a shade from the orange to the red and you say okay what about I want more highlights or more shadows on it easiest way to do that is to add some highlights in this case they are set to overlay again if I show them normal they are plain white strokes with a little bit of blur on them so as long as I clip them in pure black and pure white, they will work with all colors that I put underneath as my coloring. And seeing the white looks a little bland, even if I take it down to say 50%, it still is just a white. So play around with that. And if you go to overlay, it uses a different blend mode to get a warmer color based on the color underneath my shape and the same with the shadows if I add shadows usually to add shadows you'd go in and use for example the multiply multiply is always a safe band to get a darker tone problem is with a pure black multiply it tends to go rather dead so in order to avoid that and still keep just the black you play around with that and for example again the overlay works nicely it gives me 
a reddish tone where I want it so it's based on the color underneath rather than just the black. So by playing around with the different blend modes it's easy to recolor shapes. So it's really quick and easy to do trick to get a lot of variations out of the same artwork. I hope this was helpful. If there are any questions please leave them in the comments below and I'll try to answer them as quickly as possible. Till next time, bye!